And it has to do with details, it has to do with, with proportions. It's kind of drawing with the light. Established photographers um, used to make three or four nice images for the architect's office. And I came from, from another, uh, I'd like to work for magazines, I'd like to tell stories and, and um, I'd like to publish them. And I really like to, to, to create a story and not only an image. Uh, this was the big difference. So it was, I was totally different. It was, I was uh, from the beginning on, uh, uh, I worked for, at the same time for the magazine and for the architect. My experiences with making, by making films uh, when I was studying really helped me to, to figure out a good story also in an architectural context. Each building should, should have, a, uh, have a story and this is what I try to do. One of my first build, buildings I, I shot in Berlin was the crematorium by Axel Schultes. It's, um, it's a co concrete building um, with uh, columns that they are, I think he, 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 he had some, he had some uh, um, wooden sticks and he let them fall down and then he decided, okay, this is a good position and then he built the columns in a big hall. And the most interesting thing about the building is that there's, uh, there's, uh, um, th there's some, the whole building is about the, the going to, from one to the other. Uh, it's a kind of a going through situation. It's you're in between spaces. You're, you're, you're between inside, outside, you have a special light. And this is, I think it's one of the, my f most favorite buildings. And, um, and the thing is that there is a, in the summer when the, when the, when the sun is really on a, on a high position, you have like little eyes in the in the big hall, and um, that that because there's sun coming directly, but only in in the summer uh, uh, through the roof, and um, and I once made a picture of an assistant. Uh, uh, standing in one of these lights, and it was totally different. It was a totally different shot in in the moment when a person was in in into this quiet space, and I thought this is one of this was one really impressive moments to see what happens if if there's only one person on a, on an image, which was perfect, and it, it totally changed changed the context. One or two years later, I was shooting the chancellery for, for, for also for Axel Schultes and the, the um, uh, Reichstagsgebäude. And, um, and once I made it for a magazine, once I made it for the architect, once I made it for, uh, for my personal work, and I, I, I found out that the space is, is really so it really depends on the story I wanted to tell. For the magazine, they wanted to have lifeful images uh, that show show how the the building is used and how people move in, inside of the building. For the architectural story, it was more or less empty. It was a big space. And for the personal work, I was totally free and I made a completely different story, which was uh, um, not sharp, not, it, it, I tried to, 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 to find special points. Yeah, so, so it was also a good experience to see these three total different stories from one building because the context and was totally different and, and, uh, and, and the meaning was totally different from, from the images. I was shooting a building, um, it was a, the Ministry for Agriculture um, in Berlin and the architects had known that I, I was uh, doing artworks as well and, and uh, there was a competition for, for, for the artwork into, this, into the building and I thought 
uh, okay, let's do something. Let's make an, a work with pigs. So I um, and create a new space for them because this is a, this was kind. The ministry has to do with uh, the production of of uh, of, uh, of food in a way, and and uh, and I. A few days earlier, I was shooting um, an, uh, an institute, and they asked me for some pictures. And I and then I said, "Okay, you, we can change. I give you some pictures, and you give me some pics." <laughs> and then, um, then I um, I made a work into this in the in the big hall of this building, and I brought the pictures, uh, the, the the pics as as an uh, as a as an um, a living model in into into the space, and no one thought I really would bring uh, pics and shoot them there, and they had this uh, like a, the golden uh, uh, <laughs> the the golden and red from from the German flag was there as well. And and I had this 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 peak in, uh, into this space, and, and now there's a there's a big artwork. It's three to five meters of uh, three peaks running through this building, and it's a kind of an optical illusion that you don't you, that you can you think it's a part of the of the building itself. So once I was shooting the um, the BMW factory in Leipzig. For a magazine, it was. It's also a few years ago, and uh, then um, and they have been published in an in art magazine, uh, in a German art art magazine. And then there was a phone call by by Sarah Hadid's office. She designed the building, and uh, then they asked me if they can use the images. And after that, they um, they asked me to shoot many of their buildings. Uh, it was kind of an interesting thing to to travel around the world and, and shooting for, for Hadid and uh, yeah, it was, was cool. It was different. Uh, some of them had been exhibited in uh, Guggenheim in, in New York and, and I went to New York and met her and, and there was, I thought, okay, this is probably the, the first and only time that some of my pictures are in the Guggenheim. <laughs> But it was only about a. Uh, uh, it was about a, a, a big Hadid exhibition uh, years ago. I think it was in 2006. And sometimes people ask ask me if they want to publish an image or buy an image, and they said, uh, oh, they, "There are so many. I've seen so many, but." Uh, but they're much cheaper. But this is something. There's something, and I said, oh, "Yeah, there's something." <laughs> but uh, this little something costs a lot of time. To and and what we do downstairs is to to in the studio is really to not to to just to bring them to the point and 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 to look to look uh, perfect in a way I like it. So each story is different. In the end, each each story should be different. And if I would do the same uh, all the time, it would be boring. <laughs>